Hi folks, Tim here again from High on Cheap Tech and today we're going to do a kind of a long term, I've had these like two, two and a half months now, of the MPAL M30 True Wireless Earbuds and these are definitely budget, uh, you'll find all the details uh, in the upcoming uh, second half of the video after the intro but let's give you some of the basics here this is a box that come in and nice interior box I'll show you all that and I'll show you how quick they pair up oh uh, they are IPX7 rated so they got that going for them they use these little wings that stick out and they kind of tuck into your ears so let's do that intro right now All right, folks, I'm back, and uh, we're going to look at the, uh, uh, what's, you know, we looked at the outside of the box in the intro. Here's the actual box now to see the details on what's in here and all that good stuff. Uh, just watch the initial unboxing, but your case will be sitting in there, up there. And your two earbuds will be down in here. You'll take them out and you'll drop them in the case here and they'll start charging right up. Um, underneath that, you'll find a, a USB to micro USB cable for charging. They don't take long to charge, folks. And it's one of those MPAL things. They insist on 5 volts, 1 amp. So stick to it. They must have a reason. My uh, MPAL H7 headphone is the same way. I'm like, what and uh, and then uh, you'll find some of those little ear wings as they call them pins uh, two more sizes and you can you know get those out and deal with them but that's the box that's inside or slid into the other one and it's a real pain to get out of there by the way just you have to just trust me on that it's pretty night tight into that red sleeve. <coughs> As I said, these are <coughs> IPX7. So, yeah. they're waterproof. They have lots of good base. <coughs> yeah. <coughs> good mid range is high. And they claim five hours and then three more <coughs> recharges. I don't think they're, I've only got four and a half out of them. <coughs> most folks. So, be that as you may, they're still very damn nice. So they are butts. So let's get right to it. Now, first thing we're going to do here, I'm going to have to turn on my old new mobile here. Bring this down where we can see it. And let's keep an eye on that. Uh, yeah, I'm going to turn the brightness. Way down. So I just not do that to be reflective. All right. Now you keep an eye. Well, you have to trust me. But here we are. We're going to open it and see how quick they pair up. They've already been paired once, but once they're paired, and this is the phone I use for all my music playing, they're going to do this, and that's it. They're paired, folks. The volume just adjusts itself. And uh, that's it. Well, Tim, quit being an idiot. You know what you're going to do. You're going to pull them out of here. And you can use either one or two uh, earbuds uh, at a time. In case you want to just listen to music. In which case, you're only going to be able to 
go backwards the track with the left one. Wow. Sometimes they're a real pain. They're already playing, I guarantee it. Or they will be in a second. And so there they sit. And that's your left and right. And these are those little fins I was talking about. You know, you have two different sizes of those. Those as you put them in your ear, put it in like this, and then as you turn it, it'll push up against you. Now the natural part of your ear there. They don't stick out very far. They are touch control. And the nice part is, like a lot of more expensive earbuds, unlike a lot more, you can turn the volume up or down. You can do everything on the touch screen once you get the hang of it. Uh, and it's pretty simple. A single punch and you can answer a call or just pause the music. Um, Let's try something here. Okay, we're gonna let that sit for a second. And I'll go ahead and tap this with the left earbud just once. And we're playing. Now, let's say I want to skip ahead of track. We're going to hit this twice. <coughs> and we're on to the next one. <coughs> we want to turn up the volume. We do this. And we hold. And we just shot it up. <coughs> All right, folks. So... This being the other earbud, uh, two taps will take you back a track and one long tap uh, and hold and it'll go down in volume. But at least you got volume controls. There are a lot more expensive earbuds out there that don't give you volume control. And that's just, well, stupid. And these little fins are comfortable. They don't get in the way. And these things barely stick out of your ear. So are they worth it? Damn right they are. They're excellent. Uh, for what you get, you can't go wrong. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry about that. I haven't coughed all afternoon. I get in front of a camera or behind one, and my brain starts to say, it's time to call. So check all those links below. Below all of it. And you'll find the link to my Amazon account. I do get a kickback. Um, $36.98, free shipping on Prime. You have them two days. And if I'm wrong, well... I'll eat the hat I'm wearing. Thank God the camera's not pointed at me. I don't have a hat on. Hee <laughs> hee. Um, but they're worth every penny. And, yeah, let's put them back in there. Nothing to it. You'll just take them, turn them, and drop them in. And should usually, most there are times I do not like these, but it's just they're a little hard to get in without other days. One since I really didn't use them at all. I'm not even bothered to charge. But next time you open them, they will pair up to your device instantly if you already got your Bluetooth on. You can't go wrong. And the little blue light indicates we still got, you know, charge. 
when it starts in blank or turns blue and red mixture. Uh, might be time to consider recharging the case up with the buds. Uh, won't take, won't take too long. They get about four and a half hours of playtime. So, check out the links below. As usual, give us a like. Give us a share. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. We're about this far away from hopefully scoring uh, our um, check from the feds. That'll be groovy. We'll get the A51 first, and then the P30 should come in the same week, and or P30 Blight. We'll see how that works out. Uh, we're running out of phones, folks. I got my new mobile G3, which is something I don't want to ever part with. And I got the camera we're shooting on. And I do still have the Axon M over here. Um, but I'm selling it over on uh, Swappa. Uh, I stared at it the other day, and I stared at it. And I went, you know what? I don't ever use it. Some of you might want to try one of these out. <coughs> and of course, it already has Konomi skins on it. <coughs> I don't know which way you lay it down. Uh, you're laying it on one of the screens. It's always a good idea. Carry a Kleenex or a paper towel in a pocket. You know, protect them. So you can't get a case on one of the Max on apps. And I threw in a 128 gig micro SD storage expansion card, which it already had in it. Um, I just took it out, reformatted it, and you know, I've got it out already in case I don't want it. So you can check that out at Swap. Mine will be the $95 listing that says Tim. Right? That's right. Yeah, all it says. Uh, 95 bucks is a steal, folks. Everything's in there. Charging cable, a charger, a uh, set of wired earbuds. Yeah, this has a headphone jack. And uh, it even has a little adapter to go from micro USB to USB C, which is what it uses uh, for charging in case you're somewhere where you didn't bring your charging cable or they don't have a, a charger adequate. That's all I got for today, so make sure to like, share, and subscribe. I thank you for watching the whole thing. Uh, I'm going to edit out all that coughing. So thanks. Have a great day. Catch you in the next one.